I think uh, with art, oftentimes I hear stories of how you know an artist only finds success in their say 40s or when they're even older, mm. and um, and I think it doesn't have to come very early. Hey, what are you doing out there? Come on in. Here we are at One Brooklyn Bridge Park, home of the League's current group exhibition, Fire and Ice. I'm joined today by one of the exhibiting artists of Fire and Ice, Songwen Wang. Gwen, thanks for joining me today. How are you? Thank you for having me today. The, when I painted this, the light was never this good. <laughs> so it was, it was very nice to see my painting, you know, somewhere that I guess, you know, really makes it look good. Mm -hmm. This is cinnabar, which is the name of a historical pigment that is a color of uh, orange-ish red. And you can see, I feel like that name captures the spirit of the painting fairly well. The painting is um, oil on canvas, 36 by 36 inches. So Gwen, you're an oil painter, a student of the Art Students League, of course. In fact, you and I are in the same class. Yes. Sometimes we see each other on Friday evenings and it's very fun to watch each other work sometimes. Um, but today we're gonna focus on your life as an artist outside of the studio. And in particular, you're not only an exhibiting artist, you also are a full-time student. So can you tell me a little bit about the degree that you're pursuing right now? Right now, I'm a second year student at Columbia School of Social Work on um, doing my Master's of Social Work degree. Social work um, itself is actually a very big field with, you know, very many different kinds of jobs inside the profession. But for me personally, I would like to be a psychotherapist. What I'm most interested in is exploring someone's journey along with them to sort of, you know, support them in their own process of healing. In a way, I sort of fell into art. Originally, I'm from China and I came to the States um, for college. And uh, after that, for a couple of years, I had a lot of mental health struggles. And during that time, I discovered art mm. as an activity that was very healing. So I came to New York to the League um, but after several years, I realized that for me personally, um, the life of a full-time artist is not really sustainable or healthy. That was when I started realizing that perhaps it's better for me to go on a different career path, but still do some art and try to find a balance. I guess, you know, that does afford me more time and just gives me a sense of, um, I guess you could say almost security mm. because I know that if I can support myself as a social worker in the future, then I can also just take more time and develop myself as an artist more slowly. I'm very drawn to this idea of more time because again, as artists, we often feel like we are rushed and we don't have time. So many of us are working full-time, are full-time students. Many of us have other passions that we're also pursuing simultaneously. In the mainstream, people might think of art as kind of a hobby. Uh, that doesn't feel like the right word to describe what you're pursuing with art. How do you define your relationship with your art? When I'm working on art, I'm fully present. And um, that is something that's really important to me. I guess you could say, in a way, art is my refuge. Although I don't know if that is exactly the right word I would use either. So this is maybe something that, you know, um, we can keep thinking about. And just like art, right? We never really fully have an answer to it, but that's also part of the attraction. Very true. It's definitely an exploratory process and it's a lifelong process for those who, who choose to make it so. That's what I find so optimistic about this idea of taking one's time with art. I think there is definitely a pressure yeah. for artists to want to to try to hustle all the time. Mm -hmm. I think uh, with art, oftentimes 
I hear stories of how, you know, an artist only finds success in their, say, 40s or even old, when they're even older. Mm. And, um, and I think it doesn't have to come very early. Um, of course, you know, if arriving there early gives you maybe more sense of success or more sense of security, but um, art is such a, in a way, it's such an un uncertain field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So perhaps some patience is um, needed. Uh, Gwen, thank you so much for your time today. And as well, congratulations on having your work in Fire and Ice. It's a pleasure showing your work and it's been a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, it's really a great pleasure. And of course, thank you for showing my painting. Absolutely.